Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel so How about you? 365 Guys, I'm so excited for this video I know I always say that but This one I'm excited about because we have A special guest on the show, I'm not gonna say who it is So when you come back, you're gonna see who's a special guest And this video is gonna be about my 25 question challenge that I got from the internet But the special guest is gonna be telling me the questions and I'm gonna be answering them. So if you wanna know 25 questions that you didn't know about me, well stick around guys. Bye, <laughs> see you like when you come back. Okay, see ya, okay bye. <laughs> All right guys and welcome back. Are you ready to meet a special guest? Drum roll, it's... Kevin, my nephew. Hello YouTubers. Everyone, hello sir, nice meeting you today too, like I've never seen you, you know. <laughs> so Kevin is my nephew and a lot of you guys have been telling me to do a video with Kevin. And what the heck, today he told me, hey, I want to make a video. Do it. Here we go. So, there's what's going to happen. I'm going to ask him 25 questions and he's going to respond to me back. Let's start. Number one, are you a morning or a night person? Okay. And why? I'm a night person. Why? Because I like the nighttime. I, I'm more active. Uh, sometimes in the crew, like when I get out of the country, I'm a morning person because I want to experience all day. But I'm a night person. Okay, great, 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 great. What is your favorite animal? A dolphin. Why? Because they're very empowering. They're strong, and they have a really good connection with their family, which is their pet. Okay, number three. You have been given one million dollars. What are five things you will spend it on? Oh my gosh, it's a lot of stuff. Okay, so can I give it away to people? Mm -hmm. So I will give money to my friends and family. That's one. I will do my top bottom surgery. That's two. I will a uh, new car, of course, new house, and can I save money? And save money. Okay. Um, if you could go back in time to your 16-year-old self Oof. and tell him four things that will happen in his life with no consequences whatsoever when you come back, what are the four things you would tell him? <gasps> Ooh, this one is good. Okay, sad music. Listen, 16-year-old self, I want to tell you that <laughs> without any consequences, Listen, you need to be strong because the future is going to be amazing. Um, you're going to be a transgender woman, <laughs> okay? Um, you're going to have two jobs, you're going to make great friends, um, you're going to be moving around a lot of houses, and you're going to finish your, you're gonna finish, uh, your um, AA and start your bachelor's. So keep it up and keep being strong. Back to the past. All right, number five. If you could have one superpower, what would it be of and course why? Of course, that, of course. I will have the power to, it's telekinesis, right? Telekinetic. Telepathy. Thank you. Telepathy. Telepathy, right? Yes. To read minds. To read minds, control people. Now, I know what you're thinking, people. Oh, man, that's a bad power because you're going to control people. It's emotion. It's like blah, blah, blah. But no. Um, this power, I want to use it to help people. So, for example, this person comes to me and is like, Oh man, I can't stop killing people. I want to stop then. I control their minds to stop. And technically, he told me to do it. But yeah, that's Okay, cool. number six. If you could have dinner with anyone in history, who would it be? Not Demi Lovato, right? She's not history right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> Selena! With Selena. Oh yeah, I'm going to do it with Selena. Okay, awesome. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's number seven, by the way. I will see, I see myself in a beautiful condominium, a penthouse with my luxury car, my friends and family by my side, uh, me being already a psychologist or an actress, those two, it depends. Um, or have my own business, um, living good. Like everybody, everybody wants to, I want to have a good life, so yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. Can you give us one 
sto little short story on why you believe in goats? Does it say in there? <laughs> okay, people, listen. My mom is a psychic, and I am I could see spirits, and pretty much this room is haunted, so there you go. End of story. <laughs> three of your best personality traits. Oof. Easy peasy, let me squeeze it. One, great attitude. Two, a people person. And three, positive. Is that the three of them? Number 10. List three of your worst personality traits. Hard headed. Sometimes I can't hear what people are saying. And three, I'm always too positive. Okay, number 11. What is your favorite childhood television program? Easy peasy, Sailor Moon. Awesome. Describe what are your three greatest accomplishments? Finishing high school, finishing college, and transitioning. Awesome. What is your dream job and why? I, I would love to be an actress because I want to inspire people and I want to um, change the world. 13. In four words, describe your relationship with your parents. Amazing, fantastic. A little scary sometimes because they, they can get a little out of control. And inspiring. 14. What is your favorite part of your body and why? My legs because they're muscular. And a lot of people, like their tone, and everyone would like to. Have, I mean, I love my legs, they're really, really nice. <laughs> 15. What is usually your first thought? Thought when you wake up? I have to brush my teeth. Well, that's well, a, after you slept 10 hours, of course, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta brush your teeth. That's a, that's a thought I was getting. Oh, or I don't wanna be late. <laughs> okay. 16. Ever, say humor? Okay. Have you ever been addicted to a video or a computer game? Which one? Yes, yes, yes. Teen Titans Go. It was a video game. My Cousin and I, we played like three times in a row. This guy came in the room unplugged. Doc. Um, uh, PlayStation, and we had to restart again. Thank God we had a memory card, but yeah, that was my favorite game. 17. Which do you prefer, sweet or salty foods? I love me some sweet foods, but sometimes salty, but I prefer sweet. All right. 18. Ninja or pirates? Ninjas, they have like little, they're all black and they're like. Okay. I like the little machines. Like. 18. Which bad habit from anyone drives you crazy? Like a pet peeve? Yeah, like a pet peeve. Shooting with your mouth open, like. Um, smelling bad. He smells bad, sorry. Um, he really smells bad. Um, I do, I just got out of practice. So, chewing with your mouth open, smelling bad, three, right? Mm -hmm. And saying tons and tons and tons of bad words. Like in every sentence. In every single sentence. 19. Hmm. Describe five strengths you have. If you can do five or three. I could do five. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know the cute? Okay, one is strength? Like what? Like strength. Like if you. Like oh, okay, okay. I'm good at art. Like that. Mm -hmm. I'm good at art. I think I'm very. Uh, I, I'm good at. Acting, drawing, um, sometimes singing, influencing people, I guess, like to be who they are, I don't know, I, I guess, and giving sometimes good advices, I guess, sometimes. Number 20. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Los Angeles. I know I'm basic, but I really want to go there because they have like acting stuff. Oh, or in London, in London too. London. Okay. <clears throat> Number 21. Ooh. What is your favorite tea from Tivana? Okay, my favorite tea from Tivana is right now, right now? Yeah. It's pumpkin spice brulee. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Number 22. McDonald's or Starbucks? Are you reading this? Are you getting No, I'm not making out. Kevin? These questions are dumb now. McDonald's uh, or Starbucks? Starbucks. Why? Because I love the Frappuccinos. I'm obsessed. Yesterday I had pumpkin spice Frappuccinos. So they have pumpkin spice Frappuccino. I have to control myself because I don't want to be fat. Okay. 
or get high cholesterol or That's die true. or be in a hospital. That's true. And then you can make the videos easy. That is true. That is true. All right, number 23. What is two TV shows you can watch over and over and over again? One is Charmed and two is... Oh, that's tough. <sighs> Hannah Montana. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Okay, by the way, Charm is on Netflix. I recommend it to all of you. You should all watch it. All right, number 24. <laughs> okay, and the last one you should get from there, make it difficult. I will, I will. Number 24. What have been one of your most difficult moments in life? Like what? Like what has been one time in your life where it's been hard for you? Like that you've cried and that you've it's been harder to like get over. Uh, I don't know. I get over things fast. But what if one bad thing that's happened in your life that you were like it happened and you still remember it to this day? Oh, when my cousin died, Emily, she was four years old, and I still remember everything that happened, like, vividly that day. It was very dramatic. Okay, but, and last question. <laughs> last question, guys! Last question! <laughs> Again, pick it. Pick it great. Like, really good. Describe three significant memories from your childhood. Three good memories? Yeah. That okay. are very important. Um, like, okay, so when I was small, I used to pass by this window that had like little dolls, right? And it had like a little collection of Sailor Moon dolls. I always wanted of those. I always wanted them. And I always told my parents to go to that market if I could pass and see the little dolls. That's one. Um, the second one would be the day the... The Little Mermaid came out and I saw the movie and I was obsessed with The Little Mermaid. I used to draw and everything. Uh, I really liked The Little Mermaid. And three... When I was a child. And three... Watching the Harry Potter movie. Guys, who didn't get influenced by Harry Potter? Come on, Harry Potter is life. Mm-hmm. Potter of life. What was that? This. It's not Harry Potter. The Deathly Hollows. But that's not that. That's not that's hollow, guys. No. All right. Now the twenty-five questions. Oh me. no. Okay, Ken. Give me five. All right. See you again. No, well, you need to give me a hug. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, guys. I'm Kevin, and this is YouTube. It's all about you. Three things. All right. See ya. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. It's all about you. Three six five. Guys, remember to. Press this little button right here, this little red little button right here to subscribe. Like that, every week you can see my content. You will be the first one to see it. Also, go follow Kevin Balangian on Instagram. His everything will be linked on the bottom. Um, <laughs> guys, remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube as well. Remember to hit like, positive comments, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys, have a great night. See ya.